cinematic photo of a man skateboarding while running away from a mushroom cloud. Now, add cars next to him running away together. Make the image Ghibli Studio style. Mid journey is truly where the AI art journey started for most of us. Throughout the years, competitors emerged, but it stayed as a unique creative tool for many people with a strong community. Today, Mid journey's new update, version 7, has been unveiled and it's breathtaking. In comparison to version 6.1, the new version brings improved prompt understanding and image quality. Textures look much more realistic and you get a raw photography feeling much easier with the stock photo feeling heavily toned down. Some of the problematic prompts that require abstract thinking work better, though some still fail, and not everything is perfect of course. Compared to the previous version, distant face rendering in crowded scenes hasn't improved much. Text rendering has also shown very minor improvements, but two of the biggest updates in the new version are personalization comes enabled by default. You can of course turn it off if you want. And the new draft mode, which allows you to generate images in real time is so much fun. Essentially, now you can generate and iterate images at the speed of your thoughts. Now, let me show you how you can use version seven. Firstly, visit midjourney.com and on the left side, click on create, click on settings, and ensure you selected version 7 as your default model. To be able to unlock version 7, you need to unlock your personalized style. This means that unfortunately it's not possible to use version 7 without training your personal style. Your personalized style on version 6 is not compatible with version 7, so you have to train a new one. In order to do that, click on unlock personalization and quickly rate 200 images. And when you come back to creation screen, you will see that version 7 will be available. I wrote my first prompt, cinematic portrait photo of a Mayan tribal female warrior surrounded by lush jungle. Here simply I'm using natural language without any complex prompt structures. I always start with choice of my art medium, which in this case is going to be a cinematic portrait photo. This is very important to start with the right medium. After that I'm describing my scene with as much as detail I want. You can control her action and motion in the image and you can even control shadows and light. I hit enter and creation starts. And remember, if you hit upper arrow key right after sending your prompt, it will automatically bring the prompt back. By this way, you can quickly edit your prompt. It seems Midjourney understood what I asked for. And once I choose one of the images, using vari options, I can make subtle changes or strong changes to this particular composition, or I can upscale subtle or creatively. The subtle upscale will bring slightly improved textures to your image. Keep in mind that you can change shot type Instead of a portrait photo, you can use a full body shot, low angle or high angle shot. And using settings, you can easily change aspect ratio of your image. You can do that via interactive slider here. Alternatively, you can update your parameter here, which is dash dash AR. We can make it 9 to 16. If you want to reflect your personalized style, which you trained using 200 image pairs, you can turn on this setting here. My personalized style is strongly influenced by cinematic realistic photography. Therefore, results won't drastically change. But since I trained my style with many of the full body shots, it's much easier for me to get better results when my personalization is on. Alternatively, you can turn this off and you can rely on Midjourney standard aesthetics and you can control how much influence from Midjourney aesthetics you want on your final image using stylization slider here. I see that Midjourney aesthetics bring stronger reds and greens in comparison to my own personal style. And if you don't want any of these things, you can strip away Midjourney aesthetics by clicking on raw mode or alternatively you can type dash dash star raw to your prompts. And in this case, Midjourney will heavily rely on what you wrote in your prompt, your style choices, and it will follow closely what you ask for. And it's because I edit William Eggleston style, I got much stronger influence from his cinematographic style on my images. Note that Midjourney is now working on a new consistency feature for consistent characters, location, and objects. And this is called Omni Consistency. But this new feature, which promises advanced consistency, is not part of the current release yet. Now, one of the coolest new features is draft mode. You can simply use your voice or text to iterate on images, and image creation is 10 times faster than normal V7. In order to use that, you need to turn on draft mode, and we can use text. And look how fast it generates the image. Keep in mind that draft mode will always follow your latest settings that you choose here. And alternatively, you can use your voice to iterate on images. For that, I click on the voice mode here. 
make it photorealistic, bring astronaut riding horse to the moon, add a UFO to the scene. And essentially you will realize that model improves the prompt based on what it hears from you. So I think it's safe to say that a large language model working in the background, because it adds style choices and details to your prompts. Since draft mode is using a faster version of V7, the image quality is much lower. It's because draft mode is intended to be an ideation mode, a fast reiteration mechanism. Therefore, if you want to use any of these images, I would recommend you to hit enhance and this will take your prompt to the regular full V7 model and it will re-render it. Lastly, existing star reference libraries seem to be working with the version 7. The star reference libraries are not outdated, which is a good relief. Hopefully this video was truly helpful. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.